fantasy, romance, love, passion, many new friends, heartbreak. We are on State Street, past Wacker. Now we are on Lincoln Avenue, two-story house, the kitchen, something is burning. We are in an attic. Nice red pajamas. Gordon Michael Scallion didn't ask to become a prophet. In 1979, the gift of prophecy apparently chose him. Prior to 1979, I had absolutely no belief system in the field of the paranormal. And I lost my voice one day. Field operations to corporate headquarters and management oversight. Thirdly, wide band ground. <laughs> it was like someone went in and removed my larynx. The next morning, Scallion says his voice mysteriously returned. Good morning, Mr. Scallion. How are we feeling? Better, thanks. Oh, this says you can't speak. I guess I'm okay. Wait a minute. There's something wrong with my eyes. It's, it's like a weird glow or something. Gordon Michael Scallion? Yes. I'm sorry to disturb you like this, but th this is Chris, and I'm his mom. I'm sorry. Please. Stop. I can't do it. You don't understand. I'm not a doctor. I can't help. I... Muscles okay. Weakness is not from disease. That's why they don't know what it is. He's been poisoned. Scallion claims to live with a nightmare. Visions of cataclysmic earth changes that could wreak disaster by the year 2000. His body would go into almost a slump, and then he would sit straight up and begin to speak. Richter 7.4, early February 1998, Southern California. A fault running east to west near Riverside, upward plate, thrust. I used to have to literally go and take a nap after I have one of these visions of three to four hours. And then at, there were times where I was in bed for two or three days. And that was a common thing throughout the 80s. When I'm at my word processor, I receive these visions. Scallion claims his visions are all of cataclysmic disasters. Scallion and his wife transformed their home into the Matrix Institute a 24-hour hotline access to Scallion's prophecies occurring or predicted to occur within any given month. The Egyptians described the end of time as a bottomless pit at the base of the Great Pyramid. St. Malachi and Nostradamus envisioned cataclysmic devastation. Do all the stories we've heard point to a natural end? No one knows for certain. It is my opinion, after 20 years of traveling around the world and studying prophecies, that we make prophecy work by being so predictable. We repeat the past in the future. 